Whew, good morning, people. I just pulled up to the gym, but uh, prior to pulling up to the gym, I woke up around 7 o'clock. It's around 9, 9.30 right now. And, uh, you know, I live at home right now after graduating college, finding a job, and trying to get settled and everything. So I was, I wouldn't say disturbed, but I was knocked off my routine that I had planned for the day. And that brought me to, like, make a video or just come to conclusion that... Although it I, there's more benefits at living at home, especially if you're in a big city, than it is like um, you know living abroad and just starting. There's a lot of downsides to living at home, so I wanted to get into that. Number one is your time is not your time. Although you do have a schedule, you're a grown adult, especially after coming out of college, you've had all this freedom and you don't operate on anybody's time but your own. It's like. Uh, and once you come back, you, that's no longer the case anymore. Like they say, my house, my rules. That's kind of kind of the situation that stays. Your time is no longer your time, really. Well, it is because you're grown. But at the same time, if you're a family guy like me, you respect your family, you, you want to do right by your family and everything, then your time will be shuffled a little bit. You know, you have your own time but your parents also are getting older and they need help with a lot of more things than what you like like you were when you were a teenager so that's one thing two <laughs> a big one really privacy your privacy is limited you do have privacy don't don't get me wrong you have privacy at least i do anyway i'm not sure about y'all's parents but for me personally i love just sitting down chilling taking a shower long showers you know just being alone with my thoughts and everything like that. It'll often get disturbed when you are living at home. That's one thing that I guess if you guys are coming back home, then that's one thing you have to notice or like take note that your privacy is gonna be limited. Number three, social life. I'm not a big club guy, so me, in that, in that case, going out at night, socializing and all that stuff like that is, it's not that big of a deal. I do that during the day mostly, but yeah, I guess those are the big three things, especially if you're a nightclubber. Number three will probably hit you more at home, depending on your type of parents. But my parents are fairly strict, and I respect that too. So I, I get where they're coming from. Yeah, so those are the three things that you should probably take, pay attention to if you're considering living back at home because those things will, those are the main three things that I've noticed that, um, that have taking place so far it might be more that i'm missing but for the most part that's that's what i can muster up so yeah if you guys are considering coming back to college consider those three main things depending on your parents obviously but for me those three things are really really important to me and it might be important to you so if i can give you any more insight you know there you go if this is the same uh rules that apply to you or some things that have happened to you since you're moving back from college you have a lot of debt and all that stuff like that let me know in the comments. I, I'm de definitely curious to see. I might be missing some things and y'all might point out some things. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I would definitely love for you guys to like, comment, subscribe. I want to interact with you guys online. And they say internet friends are the best friends. So maybe I might eat, meet some new internet friends. I don't know. Just comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm about to go work out and uh, catch you on the next video. Peace.